angry guy here. And black women are furious that Japanese women are taking the black men that they didn't want. Black women are furious that Japanese women are taking the black men that they didn't want. Before we jump right into the video, I would like to show you guys a comment that was left on one of my videos from a Japanese woman. She says, I'm so glad I'm a pediatrician married and living happily with my husband and children. Being a Japanese woman in America with an Afro slash Asian husband gets me angry looks from those expired milk women. They, de <laughs> they, de they decimated their own backyards and now they are complaining about it. Let me repeat that again, guys. Let me repeat that again. This woman, she said she's a she's a Japanese woman living in America. She's a pediatrician, so she makes good money. She's married to a an Af to a man who is of both African and Asian descent, so he looks black, right? And she says being a Japanese woman in America with an Afro slash Asian husband gets me angry looks from these expired milk women. They decimated their own backyards and now they're complaining about it. Hilarious. She then left me another message where she said, angry, my sister-in-law who is Afro slash Japanese is a law clerk and she coined the phrase expired milk women. So basically, the Asian women are now clapping back. They're taking the black men that black men didn't want. They're calling them expired milk women. Expired milk women that decimated their own backyards and are now complaining about it. Guys, these are the women who destroyed their communities. They destroyed their communities. They put the men out of the homes. They rejected the good educated men and literally say things like some of our smartest men are in prison. How is that our smartest men? Our best men, our best men are in are, are incarcerated? This tells you enough to really understand their mindset because they don't want Steve Urkel. No, 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 no. They, they don't want Steve Urkel. They want Stefan Urkel. Stefan Urkel was a womanizer. All right. Stefan Urkel was a womanizer. That was hooking up with all the white girls when Laura wasn't looking. Let's make that very, very clear. Okay? Stefan Urkel was a black Chad. That's what he was. It's so unfortunate that women cannot comprehend any of this. They chased after these men that did not want them. Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, Quan, Enrique, Miguel. These men don't love them and they will never love them. They, all right? Because these are these these guys are Chad, Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, Quan, Miguel, Enrique. They're for the streets. These men are for the streets. All right? And what happens with women is that the streets are calling them. In the black community, black women put the men out of the house for public assistance. They put the men out. Come on. They used the, they used the government the family court system to extract as much wealth and resources they, as they could from these men. 
And in the end, what do you have now? It's a destroyed community. The communities are destroyed. No one wants to live there. And black men went muddy. They're leaving the U.S. White guys have been doing this for hundreds and hundreds of years, okay? Hundreds and hundreds of years. This is something that they basically damn near pioneered. But guys, it's, I mean, it's enough. It's enough. Men are so tired of the nonsense, of the games, of all of it. And now they're walking away. They're walking away entirely from Western society. They're not putting up with the games. They're not putting up with the nonsense. They're not putting up with it anymore. Because these women destroyed their communities, and now they're furious, and the men are walking away. And that the Japanese women want them, and they want to shut it down. Let's go ahead and watch this video. I actually show, showed this video in another, in another video I discussed, but we're going to watch it again. Greatly disappointed me since I've been living here is the amount of coonery that I've seen in Tokyo. And sorry to say, but it's mainly from black men from America. The way that I have to watch y'all treat me and my fellow black sisters like shit, but treat the Japanese women all delicately like they're special flowers is insane. The amount of times that I've met black men from America who give people the N-word here is crazy. I recently went to a club and this black guy was asking me how my experience is here dating and I was telling him and then he was like, well, I'm in heaven here because, you know, they like fetishize us. So they be worshiping us and doing whatever the fuck we want. So I'm in heaven. What? None? Or the black man that guys, y'all see that? Y'all see that? And she in another video, she was trying to say that you know what? It's not like they really like you over here, all right? That you're saying that blah 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 blah. The black men are talking about how wonderful they're having it over there, all right? <laughs> how the Japanese women fetishize them and treat them like royalty, so they get whatever they want. So they treat these women good. They treat these they treat the Japanese women good in return because the Japanese women are treating them good. Think about it. And look how angry she is about this. Look how furious she is about this. Mm-hmm. And that'll be talking to me. And then when we get done, they're like, I enjoyed the conversation. You're so cool. I love black women. I worship black women. I wish there was more in Tokyo. And then we'll go over to their Japanese girlfriend and then talk shit about us. <laughs> so the so what's happening here is the brothers are basically walking on eggshells around these women because they don't trust them. They know that these women, they know that that sisters are going to come out with this type of energy, with this type of attitude. So they basically tell the sisters what they want to hear. Oh, you're so beautiful. Y'all so wonderful. I worship you, black women, because they're afraid of them. They're afraid of them, but as soon as they get away from them, they're telling their Japanese girlfriends about how, just exactly how it is and what they're going through. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, go where you're appreciated. Go where you are appreciated. When black American men get over here, the coonery be on 10. Y'all need to pipe down because they do not give a fuck about y'all. Something, And yet that's not the case. Yet that's not the case. All right. These men are going over there and they're happy and living, living these good lives, meeting these women who are who are so happy with them. I know I've, I've have a guy in my comments who constantly talks about, you know, the miserable experience he had a black guy who had he mentions the miserable experience he had in the United States. He's in his 60s now, but he's like a master electrician master. He's like master a vac repair master everything. This guy is like a walking encyclopedia and master mechanic, all kinds of madness. And he, he lives over, he, he, he married a Japanese woman and he talks about how amazing it has been being married to her for like decades now, right? And he's constantly talking about it, constantly talking about it. And I've seen other black men talk about, you know, like this guy said that he used to be married to a Japanese woman, don't know why they separated. And he said that he wanted, he wanted like a drink or something. And she literally got up and ran to the kitchen, ran to the kitchen immediately to go and get his drink. And he said that, you know, he didn't understand it, but he appreciated it because he, guess, he said, I guess that's just the culture that they have over there. You have to understand something about Japanese men, all right? Something about the Japanese that people don't realize. The saying about the Japanese is that Japanese are polite, but the Japanese are not kind. I'll repeat it. The Japanese are polite, but the Japanese are not kind. 
Japanese women view, view foreign men as being, when specifically from the United States, Australia, Western countries, as being kind, especially kind to women. In a lot of these other countries, men are not kind to the women. In the Philippines, the men are not kind to the women, and they have very high beauty standards. You have a lot of Filipino guys that make $300 a month, or not even $300 a month, and the women that men from the United States are marrying, these guys would never even talk to. It's the truth. Like, the Filipino guys, they don't tell you this. They really don't tell you this, that the truth is that a lot of the men, a lot of the women that the foreign guys are going over to the Philippines and marrying are the women they would not speak to because they have higher standards. It's, it's, it's very true. American men, Western men are actually much less selective when it comes to women than, our, than, than the men are who live in these countries. Men from outside of Japan, Western men, are more likely to go to Japan and meet a woman and treat her well and accept her for who she is and not have extremely high beauty standards for her. You know, and not just extremely high beauty standards, but also social standards the same way that a man in that country will. So Japanese men will ex will look at a woman and they'll look at her class and they will they will rank her on things such as her, not just her appearance. Appearance is very important. They'll rank her on her appearance, her education, the family that she came from, where she grew up. They'll basically put her into a social class and they will rate her and grade her on this. It's, it's, it's the truth. And this is how it is in many Asian countries, if not most Asian countries. While foreign men will go overseas, they'll meet a woman who basically grew up in grew up in in the country she has nothing but she can cook clean and she wants to raise children and he will marry her and give her everything and the reason why is because in western society women now demand so much saying that a guy who takes them on a date has to spend at least at least a couple hundred dollars are you kidding me guys Right now, you can actually invest as little as $100 in rental properties. Yeah, like there's a website out there. I forget the name of it. And you can actually, it, it was created by Jeff Bezos or he, I don't know, something like that. Like he pioneered it. And you can actually invest in rental properties. Like you can put like a $100 investment into, into a rental property with other people and get a piece of that, that income. And a lot of people are doing that now. Why would I take my $300 to take some girl on a date, right? When I can invest it in Bitcoin or in the stock market or in a rental property or in something else or invest it in myself. Because the best investment you can make is in yourself. I could take that $300 and go learn new skills using that $300. Like Google right now has some amazing certificates. You can get a Google certif certificate in uh, in cybersecurity right now, and then turn around and make bank with that. That's only forty nine dollars a month. Why the heck would I go and take my money and give it away like that? And on top of it, these women are like, "Your time isn't even worth it. Your time is not equal to their time." I mean, check this out. Let's look at this video where this woman is basically talking about how much a guy should be spending on a first date. What's the most a man should spend on a first date? I feel like if I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna use all my products to come out with you, I need like a minimum of $200, a minimum, and that's like being nice. And what does a man get in return for that? My presence. But aren't you having his presence within you already? I hear you, but no. <laughs> No. I mean, like, I'm here to get different? to know you. I'm here to get to know you. You invited me out. But he has to drop $200. Yeah. Because Minimum. That, yeah. Because just, you just because, me out. Just because you have to do your makeup? Um, because I have to... 
Okay. So we're going to do the math. My moisturizer is $400. My eye cream is $300. My serum is like another $300. My makeup, you know, not included. So if I have to spend, you know, that's my money. I'm spending my money on these products. I'm going to use these products. What are you using them for, though? For myself. Okay. Right, guys. So the guy basically gets nothing. The girl is spending $1,000 to make herself look like someone that she isn't. And the guy is expected to spend at least $200. Many women will say $300 or $400 is the minimum. And, the, you know, when, when asked, what is the guy getting out of it? She says, her presence. This space, and, you know, the response is, well, what about the guy? You're also getting his presence. His, his presence. And she goes, I understand, but no. What she doesn't want to admit, because and he caught her, and she basically looked at him, and she goes, listen, okay, here's the situation, blah, 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 blah. The truth of the matter is that I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Women value their time, but they do not value the time of men. They don't value a man's time. They see a man's time just like they see his assets, his resources, and him in general as disposable. All a woman cares about when it comes to a man in Western society is his attention, his time, and his money. That's it. She can love the th she can love things about him. She can love what he can do for her, but she will never love him for the person that he actually is. The person that she loves for who they are are the Chads and the Tyrones, the men that don't want them and don't treat them well. This is the reality of it that men have to wake up to realize and understand. And this is why it's important that you go where you're appreciated. Because these women don't appreciate you. They don't appreciate you. They don't appreciate your time. No matter how handsome you are, no matter how good you look, unless you are a 100% Chad, it's not going to work out for you. And even as a Chad, even a lot of Chads today are struggling. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because the competition is so tough that even if you are an extremely good-looking guy, there's always someone who is better. And these women are going to go to these guys. And when they're done with them, then they're going to try to get into a relationship with you. Which is ridiculous. And they have no gripes about wasting your time, wasting your money. Because they don't care about you. And they never will. And the, cra and the sad thing is that, you know, when, when do you meet these women? When do they want you? After they have a body count, like, you know of 300 soldiers, now they suddenly want to call your name. Guys, I have been used, taken advantage of by women over the years, and I've learned from it. We were all once simps, but the thing is that there's a difference between ignorance, not knowing something, not understanding female nature the way that th women think, women, female psychology, and refusing to change after you learn these things, like most of these guys do. Because a lot of these guys, no matter how much they learn, they will never change. They will never change. Because they are about that life. They have committed themselves to that life. And that's how it is. Women, black women, are furious. They are furious seeing these Japanese women taking the black men that they did not want. And it's not just the, it's not just the, it's not just the black women, it's the white women as well. All right? And we're looking at the world right now. We're looking at various conflicts that are currently occurring and the way things are going. And of course, women are now on this whole other game like, "Oh, well, things aren't going down, are going downhill, so, you know, we need the men to step up." Guys, I've already said this. Men are coming to the rescue this time. In all the, with all the conflict that's happening around us, men are not coming to the rescue. Men are not. Men will not save the day this time. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. Men have. Men are done. They're done with the nonsense, with the games, the disrespect, the expectations, the legal system. Come on, guys are done with it.
the jig is up. And the thing is, women don't know how to catch a man. They don't know how to catch a man using honey and spice. They don't know anything about that. The only way they know how to control men is through shaming and blaming. And that won't keep a guy. That will only repel a guy. But what they're trying to do is keep them locked up in Western society. Because if they're in Western society, then they're forced to to have to stand up and be the protectors and providers. They don't realize men are walking away. That's why I said, guys, when it comes to the acronym MWA, men walking away, it makes more sense. Because men walking away want to be in a relationship with a woman. Most guys want to be in a relationship with a woman, although there are those who want to you know, not have it. They just want to be on their own. They want to focus on themselves. They 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 want peace in their lives. And like I said, not all the passport bros are going overseas to get into a relationship. Many passport bros are going overseas just to find peace. And that's just the reality of it. What do you guys think about this? Black women are furious that Japanese women are taking the black men that they did not want. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Please, guys, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the video. And also turn on notifications never miss another video again. And also like the video because it tells YouTube, YouTube you're enjoying the content. You want to see more of it so YouTube will show you more. Let me know what you think regarding everything we discussed here today. Uh, why these black women are so fierce that the Japanese women are taking the black men they didn't want. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.